Lee Johnston and Cheryl Fraser have a dream, to start a new life here in southern Spain. Back home in Wales, they think of little else and have come up with an unusual scheme to make their Spanish fortune. Snails, snails. my darling. We want to breed snails. It's the ideal place to breed snails. The trouble is, after three and a half years of searching, they still haven't found the right place. We spent most of our time around um, <laughs> Costa del Sol. But now they've heard about a derelict water mill that sounds perfect for their project. Hopefully, please God, this I is it, you know, it's, this is the one. Lee Johnston and Cheryl Fraser currently live near Caerphilly in South Wales. Valencia, no. Yes, Valencia, excuse oh, me. Yeah. When they met some seven years ago, they soon realised they harboured a common dream. I don't particularly want a business to work seven days a week, which I've always done. I'd like to think I've got f a few more years left and I'd like to enjoy them in the sunshine of, of Spain. And Cheryl's the same. I've been in the same job for 33 years, apart from a couple of years to have my kids, and I just can't wait to get away. I need to get away and do something else. I mean, you don't want a bad do you? No. But after years of searching, they still haven't found anywhere. And Cheryl's been reduced to living in just this sitting room and bedroom, because Lee has turned the rest of the house into a storage depot. <laughs> I promised her that we'd go and live in Spain, so, truth. Yeah. No, you so promised me we'd only be in this flat for six months. Yes, but then I thought the only way to shut her up is to start packing all the gear up and we'd be gone within 12 months. <laughs> but that but was that three was three years. and a half years ago. So right. all of our stuff so, is packed up. But that's the reason. So we got everything labelled, everything that we need, and then there's some trunks there with all our personal things in that's as right. well. We're going to take all of this, plus this is all extra clothing, this is bedding. We're living in a very small space in a huge house, simply because it was only going to be temporary. And I didn't mind, I really didn't mind, because it was only going to be six months. Summer clothes? Your summer clothes? Cheryl's instinct was to pack clothes. only what they knew they'd need. But Lee is a wheeler dealer by profession. He'll buy and sell anything, but mainly buy. We don't know what size the windows will be when we get there, so I just kept buying poles at, at And once sales. you'd started, you just couldn't I stop. I couldn't could stop you? because I and saw one kept on and kept buying on buying more them. And, more and, more. and that's not all of them. That's just the ones we've collected together. If he sees something that he thinks might be worth something in the future, he will buy it. And he's always got it in the back of, a mi of his mind that he will resell it. So really, there shouldn't be a problem because it'll all be sold on. But in actual fact, it isn't because he keeps it. Oh, we've got a brand new gas cooker there that we've never used because it's, we haven't got gas here, so we can't use it. The deal is the most important thing to me. I've got to have a deal. It doesn't matter whether it's 10 boxes of matches or 1,500 bottles of beer or you name it, as long as there's a deal. And if you only make a penny profit, that'll do me. Butterflies, butterflies in frame butterflies I've got. Uh, but half a dozen boxes of butterflies. So now I'm beginning to think I want to set a match to the lot of it and do something because it's really doing my head in. So where have they actually looked so far? We've been all over. We've been everywhere. South of Spain, that is. We, go, we tend to go along the coast. Um, we spent most of our time around um, Costa del Sol. <laughs> Look, we've we've been up and down from Gibraltar up to Benidorm, and we've never found the place that we wanted yet. They've um, seen countless properties, but for one reason or another, they just can't seem to find the right one. Garucha, we went to see some places there. Some properties there. Yeah, but they were all new properties. They were all brand new. Um, and their trips Maca. have been nothing if not eventful. Yeah. El Marimar. Yeah, that was a nice place. I liked that. Wasn't that where you dropped my passport? In the, in in the, the water. In the water. And I had to jump in the water to get the, my passport. We don't want to build brand new, do we? No. It's got to be an original, like a Spanish finca or a, um, a, a casa or whatever. A water mill or something like that. But so, it must have water. Must have, have of, yeah, we know and must have a piece of land. And they must have a piece of land. 
One glance at their garden reveals that Lee is not the only one who finds it hard to let things go. Cheryl, in her wisdom, said, well, if we go to Spain, what about all my plants? So, therefore, this is why they've all ended up in... in pots, because I want to take them with me, and I know it sounds a bit Would ridiculous. Would you believe I've got to take everything here in the pots mm. to Spain? I don't want to see him go to waste. Now, there isn't anybody that can look after him. If we're going, we're going. And the other thing take is, everything of course, with us. she uses my granada as a propagator. But she forgot to water the plants, so they all died. Last time they did, but not this time. Oh, anyway, right. so don't... those things there are not dead. Oh, that was because you gave me You've... old seed packets. The sell-by date on there matter. will be about 1999. It doesn't matter. Yeah, right, OK. Seeds are seeds, they mm. don't... According to you, and that I have now proved that you were absolutely wrong. Paradoxically, though, it will not be Lee's Granadas that will be accompanying them to Granada, but his trusty Mercedes. You're going to drive that over to Spain? Yeah, no problem. That'll start on a button, that thing. I it's covered it in... in... I know, but it's just nothing. Lee, you can't be serious. All I need on there is a battery, and away we go. Right, OK. We're looking at about 75, 80 grand to buy, to buy a house. Are you talking money? Are you talking pounds, or are you talking grand, euros? I said. That's money, not euros. Grand money. Pounds. I thought we were going less than that. Well, we're not going to get anything. We know that. We won't get anything. We get a Mickey Mouse thinker that's, that's not worth having. Buying the right place will be all important because Lee's come up with a business idea they're convinced will make their fortune. Snails, snails. my darling. We want to breed snails. It's the ideal place to breed snails, you see. We've done and a lot of research on do. it and um, we know what we need. Uh, and all the equipment, etc. Don't we? There's That's a place. Right. It's there's a guy. Twenty thousand pound to set it all up, and once we've done that, it's just it's self. Have you ever done it before? Nope. What makes you think it's going to be a successful venture? Because we know that, unlike this country, people won't eat snails. But in Spain, everybody eats snails because they go in paella, the true paella. That's what they put in snails. You can not just sell them as they are, but you can bottle them, so you can, like, you know, bottle them as you would pickle onions or whatever. Mm. But also, yeah, you can, you can make snail pate. Lee's even splashed out on a bootleg Spanish course. You came home all full of yourself because you bought me this set of tapes for easy learning Spanish. There you are, my darling, you get on with that. OK, Lee, when am I going to learn? On your way to work, in the car. Okay. How am I going to do that? I haven't got a CD player. Of course you have, you say. So we go out to the little car and we have a look and you find we haven't. So you had to go and buy me a CD player. So then a... she tried it the first day and it wouldn't work because she did, it was wobbling all over the place. So I went and I spent another £45 on another... <laughs> ..doofer to stop it... Rattling. Rattling. That's an in-car thing. But and you haven't fitted it in the car. You haven't got to fit it, woman. It's you just have. You haven't. It just sits. You have to fit it, look. There. See? <sighs> and that's why so many people think that we do argue an awful lot. Um, but... People that know us know that that's the way we are. We love it. We love a little bit of banter. We have to, we have to be fencing all the time. We're two opposing magnets, but we still end up together eventually, you know, it's, and that's the way the relationship goes. So these are your, your daughters, Cheryl? They're my two, yeah. Uh, Suki's the youngest and Teo's the oldest. And uh, Lily, have you, have you got any children? <laughs> the last count, it was 11. Last eleven. Count. What do you mean last count? No, the last count, the last one was well, the last one count was eleven. How come you got eleven? Children? Well, I had five wives. <laughs> what, including Cheryl? No, no, Cheryl. We no, haven't married I'm number yet. six. Cheryl will be number six eventually. Will you, Cheryl? No, because <laughs> I'm not going to marry him. <laughs> <laughs> it's a month later. Cheryl's youngest daughter, Suki, has agreed to house sit while Lee and Cheryl embark on what they hope will be their definitive trip to Spain. But first, she must master the appliances. Set up, uh, tell me Not so. as easy as it may uh, seem, because well, Lee's love of a deal you. means it's that things right. rarely Some ever come with instructions. There you are, look, look. That's in Russian. There look. Their new television, for instance, yeah, appears to have come off the back of a Russian lorry. No, it's in Greek now. That's... That's Greek. We've got Dutch, we've got Sprog. Sprog, that's French. Uh, we've got Sprack. 
You'll learn how to say volume and yeah. <laughs> stuff like that. It's great. It's amazing. It's education. You can't just have a normal TV, can you? No, yes, because be... it was cheap. Yeah. It's like Lee's world. <laughs> Everything happens in Lee's world and, you know, it's, it makes sense to him, whereas other people might look at it and think, what are you doing? But it makes sense to him. He is a completely different person from most people, to be honest. But if Suki thought the TV in the living room was complicated... The TV in the bedroom is one second or two seconds behind this television. Yeah, the picture is the same, isn't it? Yeah, but the sound is different. So they talk like that, but their mouths are going like that. In here, they're talking at the same time as the picture's going. But in oh. the bedroom, they're not. So but when I wake bedroom, your mother up at half past four in the morning, <laughs> she gets quite confused sometimes. They are a bit eccentric. They've got their own... The, the dogs and... They just, they don't belong here, I don't think. They belong somewhere just a little bit different. They can cope with them. And at last, they believe they've found that place. It's a water mill. It's got full planning permission for a six-bedroom house. And it's got it's a stream running through it. Uh, yeah, it's a stream in the... and a half, is it? Are you seeing this or me? Um, Do you... I think we're both seeing it, aren't we? Right. Um, and it looks absolutely perfect for what we want and for our project. <laughs> So, the following day sees Lee and Cheryl back on familiar territory. They're heading east along the Costa del Sol to view the old water mill that they hope will mark the end of their quest. We're going towards Adra. Agra, Adra, if, if Cheryl can find it on the map. Just outside Adra, actually, and it's called El Pozuelo. We're going to meet a guy, Barry, Barry Stokes. Barry Stokes is a British estate agent who operates in southern Spain. And it was he who brought the property to Lee's attention. He's found this mill that if, if he could afford it himself, he would buy it and renovate it, but he hasn't got enough money to buy it and to, and to renovate it. He said that he's very interested in coming in with us and making it a project between the two of us. And that's what Lee really wanted to do. He wanted to be in with somebody who could speak the language and who knows his way about. And he seems a straight, nice, super guy. He is about the same age as me and it would be nice to have him as a partner. The coastal town of El Pozuelo sits in a part of southern Spain still totally untouched by tourism. From the outside, the town's only hotel makes a valiant attempt to appeal to the international traveller. But inside, it's reassuringly Spanish, right down to Granny and her crocheting. It's here that British estate agent Barry Stocks is waiting for Lee and Cheryl to arrive for their appointment. He's an interesting character, even though I haven't met him yet. He has many ideas. He's, yeah, he's, he's proposing that we enter a partnership to buy a broken down water mill. It's probably 50, 60, more years old. And it sort of stands out, really, against a, a very nice backdrop of mountains, but totally dilapidated. It's a uh, ruin. It has four solid walls. If you can see beyond the ruin, there's a huge thing there for him. But I'd hate to set him up for something that really was just going to come such a huge shock that he wonder what it... I mean, even his enthusiasm might not be able to cope with. So we've been very realistic. And I now want to really suss out with him. If he can see... Olay! 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 <laughs> Lee and Cheryl's rather <laughs> sudden arrival would have been the envy of the Spanish Inquisition. Well, you must be excused. I have to have a pee. Excuse me. We've well, only just arrived. But the excitement of meeting his prospective business partner appears to be too much for Lee's bladder to take. Hi, Lee, Barry, come on. Hi, Barry. Hi, Barry. Good, good I must to have a pee. Come on. Good, good to see you again. <laughs> Oh, you nice to meet you. <laughs> you what a oh, <laughs> Though Lee and Cheryl are understandably keen to see the mill as soon as possible, Barry has not arranged an appointment until later that afternoon. He wants to sound out Lee and his ideas before they view the property. Now, I'm not trying to reduce your vision, but I'm trying to somehow get a balance between your, your huge energy and what you'd like to do and, and the, the, the reality of it. Yeah. It's a big project. Right. Is it too big to start with? I don't, not for me. 
if we did it as a joint project, this one, mm -hmm. I will oversee it and live on site and, and, and do it as a project. But you need extra financing, whether it's from me or anybody else. You need some extra... Well, I can, we can raise that to do you it. We just wanted to generate some money for yeah, basically. Because the other thing that we want to do over here, I've got this thing about... I want to go into snails and worms. I know this sounds crazy, but... It does, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds loco. <laughs> Yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I don't want you, Lee, I don't want you to feel that the only way this project can work is with my financial assistance, because, no, no, it's because just, I'm not sure at this stage that I can cope with that. Right. Right. That's OK, but I would prefer to do it with somebody. Yeah. Lee had hoped that a partnership with Barry was a done deal, but Barry is now clearly backpedalling. Nonetheless, Lee's optimism for the project remains unassailable. Mm. You get a gut feeling and you know that... I, we knew, or I knew, when I saw the, the, the plans of it, that it would be this, we could do something with it. And at last, the waiting is over. Barry drives them towards the village of Lalqueria, situated some three kilometres inland from the coast. And this, too, is very much the real Spain, where life has remained much the same for decades, if not centuries. At first sight, it's probably a little more rugged than Lee and Cheryl were expecting. There's the mill straight yeah, ahead. Sure there you are, look, that's the mill. We're heading straight towards it now. How do you feel? First, first impression. It's yeah. the walls are there, just it's the roof. It's not a complete room. The view from the road is definitely not the mill's best angle, and Lee and Cheryl do their best to remain optimistic. So basically, the mill's land is on the other side, is it? Well, no, some in front, down towards this uh, palm tree here. Nice. Barry has oh, made an appointment to meet the Spanish agent here, but there's no sign of him yet, and Lee and Cheryl are too impatient to hang around waiting. Oh, that big crack in the wall, does that matter? <laughs> there's no obvious access right. to the property, but that's not going to stop them, and although Barry no longer seems interested in the partnership idea, he will get his cut from the agent if they buy the mill. Right, no you have to imagine this thing all clear. This is quite a nice area, whether it's car parking or pool area. What does the architect say about that crack in it? Really he said it's not structural. Shall I go first? Yeah, I think so. Be careful where you, especially when we get inside the building, it's not at all safe. Really, you'll see for yourself, but have a look at it. Okay. What I see here is a terrace. You know, this, this level it will be a terrace, paved terrace, and it will be beautiful. This is the, the orchard, you can see it's quite extensive. Oh, yeah. But again, needs cleaning up. Yeah. This is an olive here, yeah. right on your doorstep. Once alongside the mill, it's clear that the property does have potential. The basic features, though overgrown and neglected, could be beautiful if restored. I don't know what you would do with the water to make a feature of it, but it must, it must be something to do with it. But Lee is uncharacteristically quiet, perhaps because the job of renovating the mill will fall on his shoulders. And according to the architect report, this has all been checked out for um, permeability. The rear of the mill overlooks the neighbouring market garden, and from here they can see that there is a lot more land attached to the property. This square yeah, bit is the, the uh, that's yeah. the walled-in patio. Yeah. It We've could be perfect for Lee's snails. In fact, there seem to be some here already to get him started. Snails? <laughs> here you are. <laughs> you're, you're in business, Lee. I am. Not the size, yeah. Yes, they are. That's the ones he collects. When, the, when, the, when it rains, when it rains, when you come up, the little snails. Let me show you this. So so it looks to me as though all of this we're walking around now and more could be part of the deal as well. Until the Spanish agent arrives, Barry is a little uncertain as to how far the land extends. I have to wait to see. Who's this? That's him. Oh, it's there man. Are. No, it's not. It's not the man. And now someone's turned up, but it's not the agent. We're going to have a chat with him. We're going to have a chat with him. So while Barry goes to find out what the man wants, Lee and Cheryl have a chance to take in the rest of the mill's exterior. Oh, very interesting. There's a lot of work, put it that way. It wants new windows, etc., new front door. New roof. New roof. <laughs> um, but, yeah, yeah, it's possibilities. We've got possibilities there, put it that way. Yeah, we huh? But Barry's still in deep conversation with the unknown man, 
and there appears to be some sort of problem brewing. Lee and Cheryl, of course, speak no Spanish, so they're totally oblivious to what is being discussed. This is a dispute about ownership. He said he owns this bit, this bit already. He said he sold this bit already. Uh, he's saying he's the real owner, not the guy from Barcelona. So we need, the, we need the agent to be here, and he will be in a minute now, to explain exactly what the situation is. So it's a good, t good thing we're here to check it out. I'm glad this guy's turned up. This could not be worse news. Having finally found what they believe could be the right place for them, it now appears that it's not for sale after all. They're really are pissed off it's at the just, moment. This is, this is the way it always goes with us, though, isn't it? Mm. It's always the same old story. But now, the Spanish agent has finally turned up, and there's hope that he may be able to shed light on the proceedings. Let's just wait and see what he says. Well, if it's sold, it's sold, so what's the point? It appears there has been a misunderstanding. This, this, this guy said, yeah, he sold it, but he sold it to the agent. So it's the confusion that we're on about. He was protecting the land that he sold already, but he only, he only handed it on to the agent, and he'd forgotten the name of the agent. He said he couldn't remember who he'd given it to. My heart, Mr. Beto, to there. Quiero presentarle... Mis clientes. Mm -hmm. How'd you do? <laughs> so now, all is well again. The property is still for sale, and with a sigh of relief, Lee and Cheryl leave Barry and the Spaniards to enjoy again the humour of the misunderstanding and head off to have a look inside the mill. <laughs> Almost immediately, they wish they hadn't. While the outside appeared reasonably presentable, the inside is a scene of devastation. With the roof missing, there's almost nothing internal that's salvageable. It's the second body blow for Lee and Cheryl, and sadly, this one is lethal to the project. This would have been all right if Barry had come in with us, done as a project, and sold it on. But for us to live in here, it's crazy, absolutely crazy. I can see the potential. Mm. But you've got an awful lot of money. the windows and the fireplace and... Basically, back to the drawing board. Then. I think so. Mm. I really do. Sad but true. There you go. It's not the. Uh, Sorry. It's not the first yeah. time. Is it? No. All that remains now is to break the news to Barry. What? Too big in concept or in finance? Well, both. I think it's both. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's best to say that now, isn't yeah, it? Rather than get yeah. mess about. I'm. I much, you know, appreciate that. So, we when you've had a rest, yeah. we'll show you something else. Okay. The mill's dilapidated interior has been a major disappointment for them. But the thing most bugging Lee is Barry's about turn over their partnership. I met him for the first time this morning, as you know, and I thought, my, this guy is not my type. <laughs> Whether it's a business type or whatever, I, I think he's far too way up there for me way down here. And I think, now the twain shall meet in terms of business. So very quickly, I thought, this is a guy I can I like, he's a bubbly guy, but I like to walk away from rather than spend a lifetime business partnership with. So I didn't, I, th I thought very quickly, there's no business here. No business partnership of any kind here. But Barry is still determined to help them find something else. And in the next programme, <gasps> Lee and Cheryl view what must surely be an unmissable property. Oh my God, look at that view. This is well, I think this is the sensational. The old force is lit up at night as well.